Hi Capricorn, this is Just. Happy birthday. And this is your January 2019 reading. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So you guys are coming out of December pretty satisfied or have made people satisfied. Um, happy birthday to you, December one Capricorns. And it could have just been that, the holidays, your birthday time, um, festivities, that sort of thing. There was a lot of positive energy that some of you may have felt around that time. And now it's back to business, back to business, back to the basics. Some of you are physically moving and you may feel like you don't know where to start. You're definitely moving on and doing your best to try to tackle everything as much as possible. But there's something that you're going to have to give up. There's something you're, you're going to have to approach differently. And that may be a bit of a challenge for some of you. Um, I do see that some of you could be deciding upon a path that is foreign. You've never been there before. You've probably applied to several different uh, properties. Uh, you finally have found one or you're still in, in a decision making mode. Um, and that's going to be a challenge for you. So something particular about a physical move or moving on from one stage of your life to the other uh, poses some challenge in decision making. And it requires some form of sacrifice as well. It may also be that some of you are dealing with um, one issue after another. Someone is coming in and needing some form of assistance. Someone may be actually there to help you, however. But you are able to stay on top of everything, okay? You'll get your grasp on this fairly quickly. So before the first week of January is even out, you'll kind of get back on top of anything that you felt has been an issue for the first week okay um external to you if you're out there looking for positions you've been putting your resumes out you've been kind of going on one interview after the, the other um this is a good time but it definitely is a time that you need to not just do all work and not pay attention to what's around you because you have a lot of uh, powerful energy some of it could be amazingly beautiful others of it could be you'll look back and say that was the day that I decided dot 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 why the hell did I do that that's that's the type of thing so this could go really right or really wrong hopefully I can remember to make that the tagline and if and for some of you you're dealing with someone very powerful people. You could be dealing with Capricorns such as yourself, Gemini's or Sagittarius's, okay? Um but people that have the power to really make a huge change in your life. Very significant change, by the way. Um you have to be careful with your circle is what I'm saying here in every area of your life. I really I mean it doesn't matter who or how connected you are to the circle be careful because you have some people in your life that can literally bring you down because of some poor habits or addictions that they're carrying um you guys like i said are looking pretty strong coming in but this is powerful energy the people external to you they have more influence okay because it could be more psychological than anything you have some people that are very much aligned in a way that is more um, the Lord, and then you have people that are online that is not necessarily um, in that alignment, if you know, if that makes any sense. So I would say be careful, be aware. You could be dealing with other Capricorns such as yourself as well. So you're dealing with people that are very much power play people, people that are obsessed with some form of power. And it could be a lot of psychological games that's being played here. So be careful entering into jobs because you can get into something that you feel is overworked, overwrought, and underpaid, undermines you in some way. Or you can get an opportunity that you feel is absolutely the best thing. You can actually meet people and feel like you've made the best decision. Oh, this apartment is so great. Oh, this area is so wonderful. Oh, my group of you know colleagues is amazing. This particular person, whatever the situation is, and then this person turns into the devil himself. You know, it's like that type of thing. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, that sort of energy some of you may be faced with. So pay attention to red flags. Halfway through January, though, I do see you embarking on this this new journey forward. 
It's going to be really good for you guys if you're physically moving away somewhere. Some of you could just be uh, changing your focus into another area of life and that brings you stability and peace. It may bring you stability mentally. It gives you peace. It does require you to kind of start to take some form of a risk. Some of you may be so focused on this new venture, this new thing that's in your life that you even miss um, or don't see an offer that's staring you right in the face. Busy, busy time comes up third part of the week. You again, that decision that seems to flank you and challenge you and plague you could come back or another decision in that same cycle of challenge. You start to kind of go down that same line again. It has to possibly do with your job company you work with. Um, Do you work there? Do you not? Do you continue to stay there? Do you do you get a job? It's something as far as like following a traditional way of being, you have to now consider. You may find it very difficult throughout the end of January for you to get a grasp on something hidden, you not knowing. Some of you, if again, if you're waiting for an opportunity, you may still be waiting to hear back from these people you don't know. Because again, as I've mentioned before, there's that Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde energy. You feel like everything is great. Oh, I'm I'm actually moving forward. You don't hear from the people or there's some, some things that you didn't know. You start to kind of evaluate or you start to see the red flags. You start to realize that something about this whole process does not seem right. Um, some of you may even reserve and telling others that you've moved, you've moved on some type of new beginning that you are embarking on. You're keeping that to yourself as well. You will begin to have some form of conflict, internal conflict, waiting financially, trying to, if some of you guys are moving and you're saying, okay, I'll get the, excuse me, I'll get the job when I get wherever I'm going. Cause I do see that prominently or, um, you're moving forward in one way. You really don't have all of the your ducks in a row. Like you don't have everything mapped out with it's like, OK, I could just move. And I know three months from now, this is how I'm paying my bills or I have money in the bank or whatever. Be careful with that. OK, you have South Node in your first house. I mean, in your, you know, in, in your in your sign right now. That could be problematic if you move in some place or trying to move away from a, a situation, you know, it's going to take some finagling. For some of you, you're going to be okay because you, you, you know, you have to fight or flight, so you'll, fi- you'll fight. Um, but the end of January may seem a bit combative. Again, if you're working at a place, you may find that that place is a bit combative dealing with people. And now all of this you're discovering and now you're saying to yourself, do I want to continue to stay here? You know, should I think about leaving now? Or it's something about this new journey that you're embarking on that because you did not kind of pay attention to every little thing that could possibly happen. And some of you, this has a lot to do with your finances. It's now coming to fruition or reality that, damn, I may not have enough to pay all of my bills. I'm short this month. How am I going to be able to do that? Or, you know, dealing with other people becomes very much a reality that you probably need to start completely new to get the things that you want. It's something about the new, the new, the new place in which you want to go may require you to take a huge evaluation as to the practical areas of life and the logical areas of life of how do you get there when it comes to your finances or a pedigree of people in which you kind of deal with. Now, when it comes to, so I see you, excuse me, going into February, you'll be in a point of um, evaluation, waiting for an offer. For some of you, you will get that offer. So to try your best to um, be patient, which it looks like you guys are doing your, your, doing a good job at that. Or if you're trying to move on from a situation, um, it looks like it's going to take time, but you'll be able to do that. Now, when it comes to love for you guys, I do see that some of you could, you have a fire sign here. It doesn't have to be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius woman, but you have someone who's very much fiery, very progressive, very stubborn, very um, do what they want to do type of energy. Again, doesn't have to be a fire sign energy. Um, there's a decision that needs to be made in moving forward. You and your mate may be, a, may be in a bit of a challenge stage right now. And you're focusing on moving forward independently. 
Even if you are married, there's some form of doing things in a way that is detached from your partner that looks, that is prominent here. You may feel like you have to kind of sacrifice someone or a certain situation in order to get the things that you want. You're tired of having to overwork. You're tired of having to have and then lose and then keep going through that cycle again. You want to have and maintain, you know, always. And there's some aspect of you having to physically get up and get out and do something. I do see that your the external to some of you, your your partner right now is at a at a huge point in their life. Um, it's almost like make it or break it. Some of them could be getting some type of initiation, entering into something where the like I said, the decision can make or break them. It could go really right or it could go really wrong, one hundred percent. And you may not even be aware that this decision is is there for them. Um, there's also a lot of love in this relationship for some of you, but there's a lot of obsession and control and someone could be hell bent on being in control and doing that quite successfully while the other person is praying constantly trying to find an exit strategy toward, you know, this relationship because they're just overtly controlled. They can't take it anymore. They just really feel controlled. Um, and I do feel like this situation is divine. So this person came into your life and you theirs divinely. Um, it wasn't just a by chance situation and it's extremely karmic. There will be a lot of lessons that is being learned and taught. Um, it seems like for you, you're going to be taught to, you're going to be taught as far as your controlling ways, particularly if you're a Capricorn man and the female here, including a Capricorn woman, you're going to learn to um, stand up for yourself, not and look at the devil in the face look the devil dead in the face and say no and mean it because you're standing on your own two feet unabashed unaffected with your strength with your understanding with your wisdom where you you don't you attract very you could attract powerful quote unquote for some of you because it could be more of a facade than anything and a lot of you it's psychological but you may attract powerful people who are doing something in this material world that allows them to feel as though they can um command certain things so you may attract that especially having pl that pluto transiting you right now but it is to your detriment capricorn women to some extent so some of you are going to learn huge lessons dealing with someone in your life in that regard but but i feel like that's like in the, a process right and some of you are still going through it halfway through the month though there will be a a coming back together excuse me probably trying to get on the same page i apologize if anyone's hearing me well, I naturally swallow because I'm always, you know, I'm talk, 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 but um, I have a bit, I'm trying to avoid um, a sore throat. So, yeah, there's going to be, if there's, you know, a parting of ways or everyone's focusing on themselves, somebody's going to come in and, and try to, you know, spend some time and, and say some really nice loving words. But your focus will really be toward a new beginning. Getting out of the situation. Someone is just tired of feeling completely controlled. They really are. And some of you. A Libra is very prominent here as well. Or air sign. Libra. Gemini is very prominent as well. Aquarius. Um, so they would be just wanting and trying to move forward. And get out of whatever stasis that the situation has presented. Uh, moving forward, not deciding whether or not this situation can be, uh, can lead to something more permanent. Someone is just really not sure at this point. Do they want to marry you? Do they want to take this to the next level? You, them? Because there's some glaringly obvious red flags here <laughs> that is starting to uh, be, become so big that they can't be ignored. You know, someone literally is at this precipice of like, I have door number one or door number two, red, green, red, red pill, green pill. It's that type of thing. Um, and there's going to be some time of wait trying to decide what do they do. And I, I feel for some of you, if you're waiting for someone to tell you if they're ready to go to the next level or vice versa, you, you kind of know deep down inside of that person knows what they are going to do, what they truly want to do, but they're reserving the time to kind of ward off any problems or conflicts that will come because someone is hell bent on it going their way. And I do sense that um, 
all of the females are going to start to, and when I say all females, female Capricorns that can relate to this, as well as the feminine in the lives of Capricorn men, they will, you guys will um, start to really stand with what is the most practical and logical. What is the most um, profound thing that you could do for yourself? Because some of you are going to be unwilling to waver from your own stability, independent of you, of anyone else that may create conflict within self or with the other person. Um, and that may make you too a bit distant and it could be because other women are in the picture. Again, whatever this red flag is, this person has, you know, some type of addiction. It could be, you know, um, outside parties, all these other people. It's just something that's fundamental that, you know, you cannot have a very healthy, um, relationship that is really being taken into you know full consideration and it separates the two of you guys in a major sort of way it can there can be some conflict that creates because of it because of the lack of stability and lack of commitment that's going on here in this relationship and yeah Capricorn men are very like in control very defiant as far as like how they expect it to go they will you know expect an, an equally equal give and take or they have other responsibilities along with you and therefore you'll have to deal with that or that man in your life you'll have to deal with it no matter what um and they'll continue to press the situation but I feel like going into February, the situation is at a standstill as far as like ultimately where you guys go as far as this relationship, <clears throat> excuse me, even with when it comes to a marriage, if you're married, um, you know, do we continue to take this further? We continue to stay married, committed in a relationship. There's a lot of bickering and fighting over A, B and C. You fill in the blank. Singles, I would say that the first couple of weeks is a good time to kind of get out there um, and meet people, but take, but understand that you can meet, you're going to meet a karmic relationship. Okay. You're going to meet someone who is going to be there to teach you a lesson, some kind of way. Absolutely. You may meet someone that's going to teach you the art of love, or you may teach someone, you may meet someone that's going to teach you, you're going to be a mirror Im image of you. And what do I mean? Whatever issues that you need to work on it's going to be blaringly obvious within this person but literally they're there to help you admit whatever issues you need to be working on that can come in a different way you may be addicted to work and they're addicted to cocaine but addiction is still very much a shared problem that mirrors the two of you. So it's that type of thing. But very much karmic relationships that some of you are going to jump right into. or um, But then you may still have something unfinished or unresolved in a past relationship. So again, be careful when it comes to completely diving into something. But some of you are just not going to be um, able to change it. Not when you have the will of fortune, the love is card, and the devil card in your external energy, like some of you are literally going to look at somebody and be like, wow. And this person will be very much karmically tied to you. So that's what I have for you guys for January. Hopefully it's been helpful. Um, check out your 2019 reading guys. Definitely. Even though you have strong planets transiting you, there's a lot of amazing new things that you can look and you can kind of expect coming up and in great ways that you guys can avoid some pitfalls and pitfalls in 2019 <laughs> it gives you a great um source of information there it's in the description box if you want something personal with me again i can be reached in the description box and if you're new to this channel welcome and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one take care capricorn